So we're back and we're with uh, de defensive coordinator from those years, uh, Coach Mickey Matthews. Uh, Mickey, thanks for sitting down with us. Um, what are you up to now? Well, I don't do anything, and I don't start till lunch every day. Well, that's great. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty good life. I, tr I, I try to do the same. No, I, I tell you what I do. I I play golf every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The biggest decision I make every week is, is whether I'm going to play on Thursday or not. And it, sometimes go. that's a little taxing, you know, <laughs> at my point, at my age. That's amazing. That's great. Um, we have a little bit of a I'm, – I'm going to get into a bunch of different things here. But we've got a little bit of a connection here now with the, the schedule that we have. You were head coach at yep. JMU for 14 years. You were at Coastal Carolina. Uh, yep. What do, you, what do you think about these teams all playing each other in the Sun Belt now? Well, I, I think the Marshall faithful, probably the – the best w description I would make: Be careful what you wish for, because you you may get it. Because mm -hmm. they got it. Yeah. You know, they didn't like the other league they were in. Mm -hmm. And what this league is, is the Sun Belt uh, East, is the Yo Southern Conference yes, on yes, I, I, Southern Conference on steroids. Yeah. What it is, is because you take. We used to talk about when I was at Marshall, when an app was really good, and and Furman, you know, in those days was yeah. off the scale good and. And Georgia Southern, had, you know, had national championships, and that each game had one play that went inside the game, mm -hmm. and those that was the difference between being six and five and nine and two. Sometimes the games were so close, so competitive, a lot of good football programs, and that's where they are right now, at Marshall. I mean, you could. Marshall could have a better football team than they had two years ago whenever they went to all these bowl games mm -hmm. and be 500 because you're playing some football programs that are really good. They have a lot of good football. Old Dominion can play. James Madison can play. Coastal Carolina, you know, has, has a potential first-round draft pick at quarterback. I mean, you go through the whole league, there's a lot of good football players on all these teams. I think, I think it's going to help attendance. I think it's going to help uh, raise money. But the games are going to be very close, are, and, you, and you're going to lose some tight games against these people. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it, actually. I, I grew up watching the Southern Conference days, and I loved that football. Uh, you were a part of that here as a defensive coordinator yeah. for the first oh, time yeah. that I was watching. Uh, favorite memory? I mean, is there anything that can trump the 92 championship, or is there one that's better? Or? Well, we could, we could, I could talk to you for the next week about all the <laughs> memories I have about when I was at Marshall. Uh, we, I don't know if there was one, um, I, I, you know, uh, when you're, this is the problem, when you have, you talk to any coach, any football coach, I don't know about the basketball guys, but the football guys, you don't remember the wins, you remember the losses, yeah. you know, and it, when I'm laying awake at night, I remember the losses that hurt so bad, but we had some, we had some really, uh, I know one year we played Western Carolina. You know, of course, everybody thinks they're terrible, but they had a great football program for about two or three years. Mm -hmm. And we were down at the half. They would, they, we drove the length of the field to kick a field goal for the half, and then the second half we dominated them uh, to beat. And we weren't going to go to the playoffs unless we beat them. Uh, but I, I, I think probably. Winning the national championship was big. You know, we, we we played Youngstown. The Boise State game out there in the semifinals just really ripped our hearts out. Yeah. Uh, they We played on an old field, and Chris Parker, who's here tonight, Chris slipped in the open field about four or five times out there, or he had had 350 yards because Chris was the dominant player in the nation and would have played for 10 years in the NFL if his knees had could stand the punt because Chris Parker was a great, great football player. Yeah. So I remember the Boise State game, uh, the Youngstown games were great, uh, the Delaware games we played. Delaware had a great football program in those days. I, I, I'm, sure I'm getting wordy already thinking about it. I mean, the game, the, the Appalachian games were, were terrific. And I remember the last season we played over at Fairfield, you know, we beat Appalachian 50 to nothing. Uh, and they were pretty good. Uh, and I go on and on. I, I remember them all. I, I would say this. The biggest memory I have of this group of youngsters, I know they're 50 years old, to me they're babies, 
was when we won the national championship in December, and then we have we go see the, I guess the governor of the state two months later. Of course, you know you think about it. We recruited for two and a half months and started, and we we got in the cars and drove over to Charleston to meet the governor. Mm -hmm. Well. When I was with those guys for three or four hours in, I guess, late February, early March, I hadn't I had seen them you know, in two or three months, and I realized how, what great people they were. I knew then what, why we had won the national championship, because we had a great bunch of kids, and we won a bunch of games in the fourth quarter. I don't, I'm sure all the, all the Marshall people watching remember, we won a lot of games. And I would say the other thing, too, so I'm getting wordy. No, I said, no not a lot. Is, uh, the, the the Marshall faithful really brought us home many times in the fourth quarter of all those games. I mean, I you cannot imagine. See, a lot of these teams wouldn't play in front of big crowds, and all of a sudden they're in the playoffs. We're playing in front of twenty five or thirty thousand people who are were not going to sit down, and they weren't going to shut yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> and the Marshall faithful brought us home many times in many of those games. I mean, I would. I would get home and I'd watch the game tape on uh, on Sunday, what happened, and it was unbelievable the, the plays that, that uh, our fans really encouraged our players to do and it would intimidate the other team. I mean, it was totally a team effort. It was, it was great stuff, and I'll never forget it. So when uh, Joan C. Edwards at the time, it was just Marshall University Stadium, but when it was built, it had 28,000 those first few years. Yeah. And it was – Seemed like 128 <laughs> if you did well, that, that was what I was going to say. <laughs> it was loud. Is it had, uh, I think, the fourth most capacity in the 1AA uh, at the time, and that would be the equivalent of, like, Tennessee Stadium or Michigan Stadium yeah. and stuff like that. And we have always had a loud, passionate fan base. And uh, that obviously has to come into play for home field advantage. I, I think that it will. I think it will come back to answer your question. I think when we had a we, we had a tremendous home field advantage uh, when we were playing. And, and I think the other teams knew that. And it, it surprised some of them. But there's no doubt that the fans were, Lord have mercy, it was loud. I mean, yeah. we, we, there was about, they weren't going to let us lose the game. And we had to lose the game. And we didn't lose many. I think we won, someone told me we won 65 games in six years or so. I, I don't know what it was, five well, years. I don't so, know what it was. So here's a stat for you. In From 91 when the stadium opened through the 2002 season, there were 99 games here. Marshall won 94 of 99. Really? 94 of 99 in 12 years. How about that? Yeah. I never knew uh, that. Yeah. But so, it, it was but it was a team. I mean, the, 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 and I've told many, it was a great time to be at Marshall. I mean, we, if you're like the, the kids that are here tonight, and we had a great coach. Jim Donnan was a great head coach. Uh, Chris Selfo, Brad Lambert, Tim Billings, Mark Gale. I'm going to lose, leave some guys out. Uh, it was a, and we were a very close staff. We played a lot of golf together. Uh, we went out to dinner together. Uh, our wives were friends. Uh, it was a really close. Edna Just is our secretary. Heck, she was like an assistant coach. Yeah, I mean, we absolutely really quick. were very close. And I think that showed in recruiting. We, we, we got a lot of great recruits because our staff to go uh, got players. So anyway, it was great stuff. Well, Coach, thank you very much for taking time. No, thank you. You're yes, good. Sir. It's yes, good to be back. Yes, sir.